Hello everyone, yeah, it's Mick here, yeah, I thought doing another video clip there on my veggie garden and that they would have been up to and that sort of thing, yeah, because I changed my veggie garden around and that there, yeah so I thought do you know, a few changes to it and that there and that changed my beds around and that's how I grow a bit more stuff in that as well yeah, so I'll just grab the camera and show you what I've done Yeah, there just be a bed here, so I've taken that out and that in the tin that was across here, so I've taken the post out that was here, and then I've reached tin up to there, put across there, and that yeah, I've buried in the ground a little bit down there, and that there, and I've buried this bed, this one here, must be a longer bed now, yeah, I've long through there, and that there, yeah, and I've got some spring onions in here that I've put in for one of my other beds and that. Yeah, so this is much more longer bed. As you can see, long through there now. It's much more longer. Then all I gotta go do is get some more boards like this one here. I'm gonna put it long there, or along through to here and that. And then this bed here, I'm gonna extend that one back to here. This part here is and that yeah. So when I just left that plate come back up against here and that and I'll extend that bed back as well and then the other bed that was here I'll move this one I took all the soil out and that and then got my son to give me a hand to move it from there up to there now so what I've done there I've put some cardboard down in the bottom and that, and then I put, then we put this up here, and I put the soil back into it. And that, and I put some cardboard on the inside of it as well. The stuff will come down through the bottom parts here. And that, yeah. And then, going to be moving the rest of these swing onions over to that bed there. And then the soil here will go to that bed there. Sounds up in there, I'll move them. Gonna move them over to that garden bed there. And then these bricks, I'll move them somewhere, and then I saw that I just left it all out, and then all up into there, and out there. And this here will be just a small little bed here for my um, catkins and up there. Yeah, so that's gonna be doing alright because I dug them out of the bed that was here, and that, yeah, I did a shovel, dig them out, got all the soil with it, and then put them back into here, and I gave them a good watering. And that, yeah, so that's going to be doing alright now so far. And that, and that bed there. And then, yeah, there's not much in this bed. Because it's been pretty hot here, I've had been around the 30s and 40s here. So, yeah, so I've been trying, you know, not being a hot heat. Yeah, so all I've got is tomato here, and beetroot grow down there, and spring onions here. And that is my um, oh, sweet potato there. And I've got a few other little veggies growing up through here as well. Yeah. And then I take all my corn out with those hot days we had. Yeah, just, you know, killing the corn and that. So I end up digging all that up and, and out there. Yeah, so it gives me more chance that I can grow more stuff through here and up there. And, the, and I put those heaps on here as well. So, because I've got a net in that I can put on top of this bed. So, if I'm going lettuce or, or um, broccoli or anything like that, I can put a net in over top of it. Yeah, and that's another lot of things I've got to put in as well. Yeah, that I can just pull them up. I can put them into the ground there. And that's some of the other ones. Yeah, and this bed here, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. I might just leave it as it is. I guess what I saw and put back into there. That's just cardboard, of, cardboard that I had. And that, yeah. And then I'll take it in to the hot pony. Um, grow thing I've done.
Oh, and my chili plant that I moved from the other bed, which was in the small bed that was over there. I moved him into this barrel here and I trimmed him all back and thinned him all out and that sort of thing. Yeah, so it seems to be going alright in this barrel here and that. I gave him good watering and that there. You now, late at night when it cools down. And then this one here, I got tomato growing, which is this one here. And my strawberries there. And there's my raspberries here. Around here, my grow room. Here's my tiny cabbage. As you can see, there, there's six of them there. Yeah, I did them last Thursday. They're gonna be going into this container down here. And that, yeah, I've got the neck cups in there already. And out there. Yeah, I'll show the neck cups that I'm gonna be using. Which are these ones here? Yeah, they're going to go into these ones. And out there. Because they're feeding. Yeah, like that. So. Yeah, so that's where they're going to go. I'm going into there. And that one's going to get more bigger and that sort of thing. And then they start getting their roots in that. You know, on the bottom. And out there, that's when I'll be doing it. I just check the bottom of them, see when the roots come out. Yeah, so they're full of water, so I should be doing right there. So if I anyway, I need to grow like there. Yeah, it's a tiny cabbage that I'm doing. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to, and out there. Yeah, so I have to put it back on the tripod here. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to, and that sort of thing. Yeah, because it's been pretty hot here, and that there, like I said, you know. And that, yeah, so I thought, do a video clip there and show you what I've been up to. And that there, yeah. So if anyone was leaving questions or comments like that, yeah, put down the bottom there for us and hit the swipe button and the notification bell there. We're up another video clip there. Alright then, we'll see you soon next time then.